Hey guys, thank you for coming in and tuning into the channel. Uh, we got some news here. We got some T-Mobile N41 here. This is more towards the Las Vegas slash uh, Henderson border here on Pecos and Sunset Road, right here at the Aloha ba uh, Hawaiian barbecue place. So this, there's a T-Mobile N41. This is uh, a Sprint site actually. And it's still 2526 is still active here, but I guess they put the 41 panels on here and they're using this tower as for the 41 as I will show you guys here if I can get this thing to focus here real quick. There we go. I'm, uh, I'm still learning how to get this thing going guys. Thank you. For, I appreciate all your guys' patience on this. You guys are freaking awesome. So as you can see on here, N41, negative 63, 65-ish, because we are right here. So let's uh, pop a couple of tests. We're gonna start with the iPhone. Well, what I've noticed is that it will prefer N71. So in order to get this to connect, because I was noticing that earlier when I was popping some tests before I decided to you know, pop the camera on and start recording this venture is that it will go first to 71. And when you airplane mode it, it'll trigger it to 41 for a little bit. And then once it's been sitting idle for like a minute, it'll automatically put it back to 71. It's, I don't know how they're configuring this to be honest, but on the Samsung, we do have it forced to only pick up SA and NSA 41 as I'll show you guys right here on the service mode on the band select for Samsung As you can see right there It's only selected for SA NSA and then millimeter wave But we know this is not millimeter wave. So It seems you have to have millimeter wave on there in order for it to pick up 41 on this phone so let's take this off airplane mode guys like i said weird configurations with this network but let's uh let's pop a speed test here guys and let's see what this thing is all about right that's the whole point of this and this is the iphone uh 12. As you guys know, the speeds are going to be really decent. And that's due to the fact that nobody's really on this network right now on the 41. So it's always going to be top performing, you know, when the traffic's low. But I would love to see when the traffic gets heavily, how this will perform. And we're looking at 328 by 84.7 with a 9 ping 2.3 jitter but that's on t-mobile's own server we will test that out of their server here in a second so let's test the the s20 plus are we looking at the same results here let's see nine ping two jitter so about the same So I'm thinking that we're getting better speeds on the Android is because one, of course, you know, T-Mobile has been optimized for Android because these are the only phones I've actually been offering the service. This is just my speculation. And second, because I have it forced to only pick up 41. So this one can switch at any time between 71 and 41. While this one is forced at 41. Let's do another test here on the iPhone. And that's going to be an issue, you know, with having N71 so high powered. Will it choose 41 for capacity? Somehow we are not. 374. By 79.4, 11 ping, 1.6 jitter. All right, let's try another one on the Android. Okay, 41.5. 
424. And this is what, 10 ping, three jitter. By 85.5, all right, let's check the configurations here. So we're looking at We gotta do a quick little speed test to get it to shore. Our band, so we're looking at, here, let's get that zoomed in. Band 66, 20 megahertz, and 41, 40. So that's 60. And then band two, five megahertz, so that's 65 megahertz of spectrum right here. As you guys can see, they have been lowering PCS. Any site and any site around that around the area, like between five to seven sites that have band N41 live right now here in Vegas, they are ending the lease that they had on band two here. I don't know who they had it with. I'll have to do more digging, but they are releasing that spectrum back and basically only utilizing five the five megahertz that they have here. And they'll probably put the sprint stuff, you know, to it, but as you can see here, hold on. I'm gonna take off the MagSafe case just to see if maybe with the 41, it does make a difference. Maybe it might, because it's band 41. It's not a clean band. So let's take out the MagSafe case. So here, let's do another test without the MagSafe case on. here so let me restart this test i'm gonna hold the phone and let's see what it does with me holding the phone real quick so it seems let's see here So I'm thinking the Samsungs, any Android is optimized better with this 41 configuration, guys. This is what it's looking like because it seems like the Android is getting uh, better speed than S20 Plus. So I'm thinking because these have been out longer than this. So they have this well optimized to work with whatever configurations they're doing. But other than that, that's it guys. I just wanted to give you this update. Sorry, it was a little bit long, the video. But as you can see, Apple's Apple comparison, iPhone 12 versus S20 Plus on Android Beta 11 software on this one. All right, guys, if you on the description down below, there's links to the Twitter handle where uh, Sneed and I do a lot of Periscope live and over there. Uh, there's also to the IG and to Facebook and then links to um, also to small and occasional monetary donations to the PayPal and the uh, cash app and we're s here slowly approaching thousand subscribers i think we're 19 away guys all right have a good night and catch you in the next one peace